So today we are unboxing a MacBook Air of the M1 variety. This is the base model, 8 gigs, 256 gig SSD. And my goal today is to figure out what gaming performance is like, not just in terms of raw frame rate, but also if this thing can game for a long time on battery. My hope is that with the extended battery life of the M1, that I'll be able to game for at least a couple of hours on it. A regular gaming laptop typically will only game for an hour to an hour and a half. Now it will probably be able to render uh, more eye candy than this MacBook Air will, but my hope is that on basic games with low settings, this will be able to carry on for two, two and a half, maybe three hours before the battery dies. So I'm going to give this a try and I'm probably gonna use Baldur's Gate 3, which I understand does run on this M1 chip, although I believe it uses Rosetta emulation. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that now. Uh, first we'll do the unboxing, and then I'll proceed to charge the battery and do some testing with Baldur's Gate. I may use other games as well, depending on uh, what will run. So that concludes this portion of the video, and I'll be back in a little while. So here we have the MacBook Air with the box cover removed um, and the plastic still in place. So let's see what we can do with this. There we go. Over. There. Apple really does a good job uh, with the unboxing screens, making it something get out of the box. Uh, obvious where all the parts are. But doing it, even Apple can't uh, make a one handed unboxing go very well on the way. So let's get this unwrapped. There it is. Now, my understanding is that Apple laptops usually come with at least 50% charge on them. So hopefully, when we open this up, it will instantly come out. There's our cover. Hey, there we go. And voila! It is already booted. So I'm gonna go ahead and register my account and get it set up. I do have a backup of my old MacBook Air that I'll have to restore from Image. I'm hoping I can do that over the network, otherwise I'll have to do some um, uh, strange stuff to get it off disk. But um, we'll English save that for the main language. Press the Back shortly. Okay, so we've got the uh, Boulders Gate running on the uh, base model M1 MacBook Air, and it's doing pretty well. I've had to use a, a mixture of uh, medium and low settings. Even the even so, you can still see an occasional stutter here and there, um, and occasionally it drops to really low frame rates for no apparent reason. I'm not sure if that's a background task running or if it's just the nature of Rosetta. At any rate, um, it does run. It looks pretty good. Um, you know, not as well as you'd expect on a gaming laptop, of course, but um, for integrated graphics, it looks very good. Uh, at this point, um, I want to try to run it on battery and see how long I can play the game running on battery. Now, this is a fairly intensive game, but what I've had to do is use a mixture of medium and low settings to get to an acceptable frame rate of about... 30 to 40 FPS, occasionally it will dip below that, but not too often. And as I mentioned, it does stutter occasionally. Not severely, but noticeably. So I'm going to go ahead and try to play this game for a while and see how long it lasts on battery. Also, I'm going to try to notice and see if there's a, a big performance degradation when it is running on battery. You know, if, it goes into, as, if the laptop goes into low power mode and starts uh, draining the battery, I mean not draining the battery, but... Just running at poor performance. So let me unplug it and see what happens to the frame rate. All right, the screen did dim, but the frame rate did not go down. So that is encouraging. Now I'm going to continue playing this for a while and we'll hopefully, hopefully see if this can last for at least a couple of hours before we have to recharge. So here we go. I will report back in a couple hours. Thank you. Okay, so I've been playing for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, 
Um, it's saying that I have 98% charge remaining and approximately three hours on battery remaining. Now, perhaps that's being overly optimistic, but we'll put it to the test. Uh, we're gonna see here in a while how well it holds up. I intend to play for at least an hour and then go ahead and go back and check. Um, so about another 15 minute, 50 minutes or so, and then we'll see how um, it's holding up. Talk to you later. So we are here at the about the hour mark, looking at our battery usage. And it looks like we've got about 75% um, left on the charge. And that's an hour in. And according to this, we've got two hours remaining on battery charge. And that doesn't quite line up with the 75% used so far. If we've used a quarter of power for the past hour, you'd think we could make it for four hours. But it's still saying it's got about two hours left. So it may be being conservative on its battery estimate. Um, so this is something I may have to explore f more fully later and see how long it can, how long it'll really last. Uh, right now our official forecast is three hours, but it's looking more like it'll last, well, of course you don't want to let, you don't want to make it um, run until the battery's fully drained because that's bad for the battery. But I'm thinking we still could get maybe three and a half hours out of it. So we'll come back to this as we progress and see how long we continue playing the game. Uh, so far, performance has been um, pretty much the same as I described at the beginning. Uh, we're running about 30, 35, sometimes 40 frames per second. Occasional dips lower. Occasionally, there are big stutters. Um, I'm not sure if that's textures loading or uh, Rosetta doing some kind of translation, getting stuck. But um, it seems to be doing fairly well. So um, it's definitely playable. It is not a 60 FPS experience, but it is definitely playable. All right, so we're at about the hour and a half point. And it looks like the, um, we've, uh, we're at the halfway mark and we've, we've uh, been playing for now uh, an hour and 45 minutes. And according to this, we have uh, an hour 20 left, which matches the original prediction. So I, you know, originally I was thinking that because we only had, we'd only use 25% of power up to that point that we we're going to be able to get maybe four hours out of it. But that does not look to be the case. So the original forecast this thing made may be correct. Now, I've done one thing. I've reduced the resolution in the game from about um, 1680 by 1050 to 1440 by 900 to boost the frame rates up into the mid to high 30s. We still get occasional stutters, but they're not as frequent. Again, the point of this experiment is to see if we can play games for an extended period of time on battery. And apparently we can. Now you cannot play at the same level of detail in eye candy that you can on a gaming laptop. But you can take this with you on an airplane, to a cafe, to school, to a library, and just play for hours, as opposed to the hour to hour and a half you typically get from a gaming laptop. Or even a regular laptop for that matter. And on that note, I will conclude for the moment. And um, I will probably put together a conclusion um, in a full video. Thank you for your time. Signing out.